am on this beautiful day. Hey friends, it's time for Ask the Derm. This week it is all about acne. I call them your little friends that come and visit. Board certified dermatologist Dr. Billy Groff from Cosmetic Laser Dermatology back with more. Dr. Groff, good morning and good, morning. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, this is going to affect almost everybody because you either had it, you still have it, or you may have it in the future. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, 85% uh, of us have acne at some point in our lives. And oh, wow. In fact, I'm surprised I don't have one right now for this appearance. You know, I just got lucky, I guess. Yeah, your skin <laughs> looks great, but I I get little visitors, I name them George, right. Billy Bob, they come all the time. Okay, yeah, so let's start with a little quiz. Uh, so maybe we can learn something about acne. So the first one um, is what causes acne out of these two products, soda right. or milk. So I have to guess? Yeah, you have to guess. Is okay. it soda or the milk that can cause acne? Oh man, um, milk? Wow, that's a good guess. Really? Yeah, absolutely. What happens is, if you think about milk, it has a lot of uh, hormones that are natural to the cow, okay. including like testosterone and estrogen and things. Now, when we drink the milk, particularly the milk, like the whole milk, um, it has those hormones in there, and that can stimulate oil production in our skin, which contributes to acne. It doesn't wow. affect everyone, but some people it does. You know, you say this, and I remember a few years ago, I used to almost get cystic-like um, acne along my chin, and I was realizing I was drinking lattes, iced lattes every day. That'll do it, yeah. I stopped it, everything went away. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, sure. so the next question uh, would be, what causes acne? Would it be, what, chocolate or a sports chocolate bar? Chocolate bar or a sports, sports bar? bar. <sighs> I, I'm going to say chocolate because everybody says don't eat the chocolate because you'll get breakouts right. all over. You fell for the greatest myth there is about acne. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's actually the uh, sports bar because sports bars can contain things like soy protein. Soy protein, again, can get converted to hormones in our body that can contribute to acne as well as it contains iodine, which can cause inflammation, which leads to acne. Wow. Actually, chocolate by itself does not cause acne. So that's not true when that's mama said true. don't eat right, the chocolate. Right, mama was wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Uh, our final question then would be, what, fabric softener or sunscreen? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, well, sunscreen's good for your face, so it can't be sunscreen. Fabric softener? You're right. Oh, cool, okay. And this is really interesting. Fabric softener, when you wash, say, your pillowcases, the fabric softener will leave a waxy residue on your pillowcase. That will transfer to your face and clog your pores, thereby exacerbating acne. So if you're going to wash your pillowcases and you're prone to acne, don't use the fabric softener. Hey, just on a side talk before we get to what causes acne, we were just sharing with our friends that this new study came out with the FDA that there's an allergic reaction to some of the top uh, acne medications. Right. Uh, is, what is this? Is this true? Well, it's probably true, but I think it's overhyped because if you look back from 1969 till now, mm -hmm. which is over 40 years of data, there's only maybe 130 to 140 cases, which means there's two to three a year. Now, you got to remember, tens if not hundreds of millions of people are using these products, so your chance of getting struck by lightning are greater than having this kind of problem. So I think it's a little bit overhyped, and I wouldn't go into panic mode and stop using everything, but uh, something to think about, I guess. Okay, what causes the major factors that will actually cause those friends to pop up? Right, well, there's three things. There's bacteria on the skin. Okay. There's the oil on the skin, which the bacteria feed on. Okay. That's what makes them grow and proliferate. The other thing is plugging of the pores. So if your skin's not shedding properly, and these all, of course, can be addressed either topically or with other treatments that we have available. If our friends are anything like me and were similar when I was a teen, maybe right. when you were a teen, there was like a party, and yeah. then it kind of went away when you're an adult. Right. Is there a difference between your teenage years and your adult years when, with acne? Well, the, the biggest difference is during the teen years, there's a major influx or change in your hormone levels, okay. which, of course, hormone levels tend to stabilize as we get into our adulthood. So that's the biggest difference. Okay, so now let's say you want to get rid of it you have right. it um, what are some things that you can do that I'm sure one of them is don't touch them and don't pick at them because they make it worse right. what are things that you can do well besides the dietary things of course there's a million different treatments for acne because nothing works for everyone okay uh, some of the newer and exciting things that we're doing are using lasers uh, to treat and put acne into remission so it's pretty amazing. We uh, can put a topical medication on the skin and then we expose the patient's skin to mm -hmm. lasers and light mm -hmm. and we can put acne into remission for years, oh, wow. if not stopping its tracks completely. And I think we might have some photos uh, at some point to show We that. actually do some before and after of some uh, patients. Can yeah. we look at the first one? Oh, 
Dr. Groff, yeah, this is amazing. amazing. You know, I have two little girls that are six and eight, and I think, well, what would I do if they were teenagers and had acne? Well, instead of having them take antibiotics and try all these different things on their face, this is absolutely what I would do, because you can see how great it works. Okay. It's pretty amazing. So that's like a late, how, how many um, sessions would that I'd take? I'd say the majority of patients only need one. Okay. A small percentage might need two, and the rarest patient might need three treatments. Okay, I think we have one more um, patient. Can we look okay. at that one? Yeah, so another great example this is a patient that we treated with, uh, it's called PDT or photodynamic therapy. Photodynamic. And you know, this time of year is the perfect time to do it because kids are out of school and they can come in and uh, there is a little bit of swelling and a little bit of pinkness afterwards, So, but there's no school, so a great time to do it. Is it expensive? Um, it's not cheap. It can be anywhere from, I'd say, 1000 to $1,500. Okay, but if you say you do it one time, then right. that's something that you don't have to deal with over it. Because a lot exactly. of these lasers, you've got to do them five, six, seven, eight times. Right, and if you think about how much some of these acne medications cost, like Accutane or some of the topical things like... Um, Retin-A, for example, can be a couple hundred dollars a tube, and then you have to refill it multiple mm -hmm. times, and so it all adds up. Okay, uh, just really quick before you go, I just wanted to get to some of these yeah. other things that you say avoid. You say avoid the swimming pools. It's summer, Dr. Groff. I know. That's going to be a tough one, but the chlorine can irritate and dry out the okay. skin. So, I mean, how realistic is that? Probably not really. And but. you say also avoid sleeping with your makeup on. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard. Come on, it only takes like five minutes. You can do it. You just, can wash it just off. Just take it off and, and ditch right. the dairy too. Yeah, well, if you're having a problem with acne, at least try it. Okay. Just try that for a few weeks. Okay. Dr. Yeah. Graffa, thank you for being here. This is really good stuff. Thank if you. you want to get more information, maybe learn more about that laser, uh, you can go to our website. We've licked all the information up so you can get in touch with Dr. Graff and uh, go give your face some love. Thank you That's for right. being here. Okay, All right, Paul, we'll send it over to you.